lovely weather. A warm welcome to Selhurst Park here in London. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Crystal Palace, and they take on Fulham. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And here's the Palace 11. Geoffrey Schloop starts alongside Eberechi Eze in central midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And here's the starting 11 for Fulham. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. Thank you, Selhurst Park. Enjoy the game. The match is underway. Balinha. And now William coming into it. He has time to play it over. Mitrovic. An alert piece of defending. Ezzy and Edouard with it well whenever you're trying to defend against Wilfried Zaha quite simply you've got to be on your toes Stuart what do you expect to see from him today well Derek he's the perfect finisher he's got a great shot on him his movement is excellent and in 1v1 situations you always expect him to score and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And that'll be a Palace throw-in. Schlup. Zaha. And he's made headway. Pushing for it, and now they've been rewarded. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Back underway, 1-0 it is. And a chance for him on the flank. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Odson Edouard. And Edouard with it. Ayou. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. And a Fulham throw-in coming up here. Wilson. Pretty straightforward in the end. The pressure was high, and they could be in here. 
Oh, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Wilfred Zaha. Well, they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. Good vision. Can he get onto this? Save, but still a chance. Well, nothing comes of it. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Ezzy, determined defending. Effort from long distance. Well, it wasn't all that far off the target. Well, you're absolutely right. That was close, but the game is still very much in the balance here. Well, it's been quite clear that Palace have been second best in terms of possession, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Wilfred Zaha and Edouard with it nicely timed tackle breaking at pace can they take advantage of the situation wonderful chance well it was so easy on the eye that counter attack but no reward for them yeah it was all good until the final effort it just shows how devastating they can be on the break, though. Ducouré. Well, if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. Ezzy. Are you? Fantastic work to thwart the danger. And so the first half has come to an end here at Selhurst Park. Well, a lot to like about Wilfried Zaha and what he's put into the game so far. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. And the game begins. So underway again, and Palace with the lead, but this game far from being done and dusted. Wilson. He's in with a chance. Well, the keeper had a lot to do. Well, it's a great piece of goalkeeping. So quick off his line. Excellent vision. Well read to ease the pressure. Well, he's gone back to give the free kick, the referee here. He tried to play advantage, but it didn't accrue.
Ezzy. Oh, good vision. Going for the dink. Oh, that is a moment of pure quality. A goal for football lovers to enjoy the world over. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And then the finish is really good. He just dinks it over the keeper. That's an excellent goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. And teammates around him. And the cross into the middle. And that is going to be a free kick. minutes to go then Jeffrey Schlupp and return to Zaha oh dear well that's not one that's going to linger long in the memory well he had a go there nothing wrong with that but he's got that all wrong Well, as those stats confirm, Palace have had the lion's share of the ball, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back. Oh, look at this, Stuart, an opportunity! And a goal! He's doubled his total for the day in superb scoring form! Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. Action underway again with Crystal Palace very much in control. Harry Wilson. Wilson, just the challenge that was required. Schlup. Well, it could be on for him here. A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick and his movement so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. contest 4-0 Wilson and with that the attack fizzles out going well can he do it and a goalkeeper in great form and he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there that is brilliant So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Who can he pick out? The clearance wasn't decisive. And in the perfect position to read it. Oh, a nice-looking pass. Mitrovic. And there it is. A goal 
But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Well, as you can see, not much power, but great accuracy. He made that look so easy, didn't he? Well, not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Substitution for Crystal Can he find the net? And still an opportunity. And the keeper was finally able to claim it. Well, what a great piece of goalkeeping. Firstly the save and then the recovery. Brilliant from him. Alexander Mitrovic. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Pressing high to win the ball. Mitrovic. So now a corner. Substitution time it is here. Coming onto the pitch, number 10, Tom Kearney. Over it comes. Oh, foul play, says the referee. <laughs> Sheikh Dukure. Might really be able to trouble them here. But quick thinking defensively. William. And that will be all for this game. It goes into the history books as a victory for Crystal Palace. How would you sum this up? You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent. Full of energy and pace. And the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. And it truly was an eye-catching performance from Wilfried Zaha. Stuart, as always, interested to get your assessment. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference...